from a living titan leviathan to abandoned architect cities and a mysterious monster in the void. Some naughty players have a bunch of ideas when it comes to what they would add to the game. So now let's take a look at the top 10 things you guys would add to Below Zero if you could. Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to another top 10. This time I asked you guys what you would add to Subnautica Below Zero and now we'll take a look at the top 10 most upvoted ideas. At number 10, NG suggested camouflage gear so that you could hide from creatures or a camouflaging leviathan. Now, while I think the idea of camo gear is great, it would kind of remove the scare factor of the game. A camouflaging leviathan, however, sounds pretty amazing. Why not give an ability like that to the shadow leviathan? I mean, it already blends in pretty well with the dark ocean. But imagine it going almost invisible, sneaking up on you and then suddenly appearing right in front of you. The last thing you'll see is a giant mouth that came out of nowhere devouring you. I imagine it would look somewhat similar to Rock Drakes in Ark Survival Evolved, where you could still spot it if you were looking for it. But if you pay no attention, a heart attack is guaranteed. Now we have two very familiar suggestions by Storm the Skyway at number 9. The Ice Dragon, which was actually originally planned for Below Zero, and the Atlas. The Atlas used to be a concept art for the original game, which never got used, but due to its size and cool looking design, the community has requested it for a long time. Modders actually tried implementing it with a mod, but that sadly failed, so the community was left dreaming. With Below Zero being in development, you could get your hopes up, but I wouldn't recommend it. The devs have said multiple times they won't implement it due to its size in comparison to the map size, and Below Zero's map is actually even smaller. Now I would really like more submarines in Subnautica, but for them to make sense you also need bigger and deeper biomes, and Below Zero just doesn't have that. Maybe in the future they will add a third Subnautica to the series, or add another map for the base game, where they could include the Atlas, who knows. The Ice Dragon was cut from Below Zero's development due to unknown reasons. They even already made a model for it, so I'm not sure why it was cut. They apparently even cut the biome it was supposed to spawn in. I would also love to see it being implemented, but I sadly think that it's not very likely. One of the cutest creatures in Subnautica makes a return at number 7. The Cuddle or Cute Fish is a creature you could make your pet in Subnautica and big sea animations and a bunch of you guys seem to want an ice version for it for Below Zero. Now there is a creature you can tame in Below Zero already, the Trivalve. It's supposed to act like the arctic version of the Cuddlefish, but I don't know about you, but it's kinda creepy. Sure, it has giant eyes and all, but I'd have preferred a recolor Cute Fish. But hey, at least we get another pet. Let's just hope we can eventually tame snowstalkers like Margaret. That would be awesome. Weep Des got his idea to number 7 by suggesting a giant mysterious leviathan at the bottom of the void. People have asked for this since Subnautica first launched in early access and I'd also love to see a massive eye or tentacles reaching towards you from the depths of the dead zone. It would certainly discourage players from venturing too far down and be a lot more interesting than just Ghost Leviathans. Even though, yeah, they are quite scary. Ah! Kernabrot04 suggested another popular request, multiplayer. Now, the devs have said before that they will most likely not implement multiplayer, but the modding community has been hard at work. A multiplayer mod for Subnautica already exists. If you want to check that out, I've made a video about it, just click on it in the top right after you watch this video. I'd say it's pretty likely that, once it comes out, the mod will also be adapted for Below Zero, so you have that to look forward to. And who knows, they might be even planning on making a Subnautica multiplayer game sometime. Alex Outdraud, I hope I pronounced that right, was the first one with a story suggestion, which got him to the fifth spot. 
Instead of having a linear storyline like the original game, he suggested to have multiple different endings which the player could influence. Imagine something similar to The Witcher 3, where the choices you make during your playthrough impact the end result. If you, for example, decide to give Al-An to Altera, you'd get a different ending than if you give him to Jeff or hide him from both. I'd love to have multiple endings to explore and a more complex story structure, but I don't think the devs will put in all that extra work now that most of the story is already completed and will soon be implemented. So more like wishful thinking, but yes please. Follow the leader has made one of the best suggestions yet. I'm just gonna leave that in, it took me like 9 tries to pronounce suggestions. At number 4 we have a release date. Yeah, I would definitely like a release date, but I also think that it would put unnecessary pressure on the developers. The last update was at the end of February and we haven't gotten something since then. And the Favro ends here as well, so we don't know. So not a good to over four years to complete, so I think we can wait a little longer for Bila Zero 2. At number three is DDD's suggestion to add an extremely deep and dark biome or to increase the depth of biomes in general to allow for more submarine usage. Now I really really like that idea, I love my submarines. But the map of Below Zero is almost complete and changing it now would require a ton of work, which I'm not really sure would be worth it. The deeper and darker the biome, the scarier it is of course, and Shadow Leviathans for example would of course blend in better with near pitch black oceans than the waters in the crystal caves. But in the end, if the devs don't put in even more time to make that new biome work and create interesting creatures for it, it wouldn't be as exciting. So I'm not sure if they should try to do that. Now, Gladster had another story idea for number two. They suggested to add an abandoned precursor or architect city so we could learn more about the aliens that once inhabited this planet. I absolutely love this idea. I can't stretch that enough. I love it. And I would also love to see more precursor buildings. Did they all use the same material? Or was the one we've seen so far only special for facilities? Did they live on top of the water or underwater? Or did they all crowd to the two islands we know about? That would be a little weird. We could learn a lot about them like this, but I also think it's quite unlikely to be added since devs mostly want to keep the architects a mystery and if they were going for a precursor city, I'm pretty sure we would have seen it by now. If not, well done on hiding that from us devs. And finally, the thing most of you would want to add to Below Zero was suggested by the YOLO Spino 2.0, great name. A living Titan Leviathan. This beast, whose skeletal remains can be found in the Lost River, could easily swallow a cyclops and would have preyed on most other existing leviathan species. Yes, this thing would have most likely eaten a sea dragon for breakfast. The part we see is actually only a third of its actual length. And I thought this was big! And Thomnia actually went out of his way to create a concept art with the help of Tapwing, so we could have a reference of what it could look like if it was still alive. Now I don't know about you, but I would not want to have that thing decide to have me for breakfast. Sea dragons are a lot more nutritious, I think, right? It would definitely bring the scare factor of Below Zero to a whole other level, knowing that that thing is out there, somewhere, waiting for its prey. You. Now thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this top 10. If you want to support me, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell since the YouTube algorithm now greatly favors big brand channels over small individual creators like me. If you want to do more, I now have a Patreon or you can become a channel member. If you decide to support me, you'll get access to all my scripts for non-news videos, early access to those videos, behind the scenes contents and outtakes, a chance to win Steam games every month, you get to voice chat with me when I'm playing games with fans on live streams, you get a shout out at the end of every video and you get a say in every major decision for my videos like thumbnails, topics, music choice and more. I'd really appreciate it if you would check it out or share it with your friends. But for now, thank you very much for watching and as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!
follow the leader has made one of the best should follow the leader has made one of the best suggestions yet. Why can I not pronounce suggestions?